So as some of you might know, Ned Luke, the voice actor, the motion capture artist for Michael in GTA 5, he has been playing through GTA 5 uh, to celebrate its 10th anniversary and as well playing GTA Online, which has caused a bunch of clips of him playing to be spread amongst Twitter. Uh, I'm going to show you a few of them as they lead into the discussion that I'm about to show. So this is just him doing, uh, I think, the first street race in GT5. Oh man, I think this is the best I've ever raced this thing. There it is, baby! I won the race. Unbelievable. Oh my God. You gotta be freaking kidding me. I fucking hate that tree. I've hit that tree so many times. You can go back in, in runs. I've had a lot of my runs die in that exact tree. And it just takes a small amount of time for the mission to end or the race to end rather. Even though he died, it counted as him dying on the mission, even though he did actually finish it and get first. Moving into GC Online, he's playing on PC, which has uh, caused the obvious problems that you might expect playing PC, GT Online, uh, while being a public figure. Let's go. What the hell is wrong with this guy's car? This guy's out of his mind. Okay, I'm gonna get out and blow him up. He's in God mode. <laughs> I killed myself. <laughs> How does he not get blown up? All right, uh, there's a modder. Oh, my God. That's why we stick to the story mode, fellas. Exactly, Ned. Of course, his streams aren't getting insane views. They're getting good enough views, though, to get these sorts of things happening, happening to him. These clips are funny, though, right? It's just... Getting clips like this that are amusing are not worth all the hassles and the potential other liabilities you can have by having modders in your session, right? The risk that you run. Not every modder is, uh, you know, as passive as this one is. For example... Somebody shooting at me. Whoa, look, there he is right there. Whoa! Oh my god. Did I really? Have I, have I gotten... I did. So just instant fail mission because of a modder. Another example, which we've seen a clip like this before with this inception effect in GT Online. This effect inspired the effect in Chaos. The modders are in, look at that. Here they are. This is kind of the risk with public lobbies. Obviously Ned wouldn't have like a, a clan or something to hang with. The world is upset. I wonder if I can get into my, uh, I wonder if I can get into my nightclub upside down. <laughs> Is, is my night club up there now? Missed me. Ah, they got me. So if you do want to watch Ned playing GT Online and uh, playing through story mode, you know, follow his YouTube channel and his Twitch. I'm almost hesitant to do that though, in, in trying, shouting out him out, because I know that the more people I make aware of him playing the game, the more likely he is to experience these modders. And I, I, I was going to DM him and say like, uh, I can give you the tools that I use to protect myself. I use those tools to play with a select amount of people, my mods and stuff. Um, which I'm not sure that Ned has. I, I don't know if he has like a, a crew or something that he can play with. But maybe I'll bring it up to him. I'm, I'm not sure. But uh, all this was fairly innocuous. Like it, 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 it's, it's bad. It might ruin his experience. But it became more serious when this happened. Here you go. How about this guy? One trillion, forty-seven billion, six hundred thirty million, one hundred thirty-nine thousand six hundred thirty-nine. Hello. They're what? Oh, nice. Nice, nice. All right. Uh, all right, I'll be out there. All right, I got to go. Now these assholes have swatted my house, so I've got to go. All right, have a good one. 
in the way that he said these assholes are sort of my house, I think led some people to be making a connection between him getting harassed in GT Online by modders and the people who've swatted him. But uh, Ned argues that's not the case. Istura here said in relation to this clip, Rockstar failing to hide people's IP addresses from modders could have resulted in one of the lead actors for GTA getting shot and killed. Rockstar should have solved this problem years ago. This is completely unacceptable. It's not really fair. Like, I'm, I, I do agree that Rockstar not hiding people's IP addresses is ridiculous, but making the connection between that and Ned Luke getting swatted is not fair. An IP address can give you like the rough location that a person's in. It can give you information that you could, you know, then piece things together to know where a person lives. But like, if you're a public figure, usually there's enough information out there for people to find out where you live if they really, really care to. And it sucks, right? As Ned says down here, you're jumping to some large ass conclusions. This had nothing to do with Rockstar. These assholes leaked my private info years ago and have been doing this shit since. Anyone's info is available online if you are sick enough to really want to find it. Like imagine like someone's so keen to find you that they hire like a private investigator and stuff. Like no person can be a public figure online without eventually leaking enough information that a private investigator couldn't find you, right? You remember that story of like Shia LaBeouf putting like a flag or something and 4chan like triangulating the location of the flag using stars and stuff to find it out to get rid of it or something? Those kind of stories. Or who's that guy who is like an ultimate geo guesser master and he can see like a little bit of a person's lawn and be like, I know exactly where that is and just pinpoint it on the map. It's pretty standard Darwin grass here um, where it gets like super green up here and tropical. Nice. Rainbow, yeah. So like when people like that exist, like what can you do? You don't want to make it easier for them, obviously, but it's just one of the risks you run as a public figure. So Ned eventually spoke of the whole situation. I was hoping this shit would stay quiet, but let me address it. Everyone is fine. Thank you for your concern. This is the sixth time we've been swatted, but points for originality. This time they sent the fire department. There was nothing cute or clever or funny about this. And in a way, I feel sorry for the individual or group of individuals pulling these pranks. That said, the authorities are on the trail and have some significant evidence in hand that will hopefully lead to this paste-eating clown's mum's basement. I assume the intention is to shut me down, harass me, and put me ill at ease. Guess what? It ain't fucking working. I'm not afraid. I'm not losing sleep. And I sure as hell am not going to stop doing my thing. That thing right now is my 10th anniversary playthrough. That will absolutely continue to completion and beyond. I will be doing my streamily.com slash Ned Luke signing live on December 7th and hopefully we'll welcome many of you into the stream live as I sign pictures. Guys like this, I've known them all my life. They exist to annoy, irritate and inf infuriate. If you let them, I don't let them. While many of you have shown great concern for my family and we appreciate it, there really is no need. We are fine. We are well prepared for this. In closing, let me reiterate with total clarity, these occurrences, the pieces, the taxis, the locksmiths, the swattings, the phone calls at all hours of the night, the level of their relevance is only eclipsed by the irrelevance of the people phoning this shit in. You don't matter. You are nothing more than one of those many pimples on your ass that you constantly pick at. So enjoy your time. Trust me, it will be coming to an end soon. In the interim, stay in mum's basement. I'm sure there is much paste left to be eaten. So go to my YouTube channel and I promise you will continue to find me there. And remember, subscribing is winning. Everything else is bullshit. What a line. And one last thing, the, my private information was not attained through my live stream or from GT Online. It was leaked years ago by someone who did a routine search on the internet and thought it would be cute to put it out there. Rockstar Games is not to blame. Trust me, if I believe they uh, that were the case, the, uh, not only would they hear from me, I would have heard from them and their army of lawyers would handle it. So back off of that shit and get ready for six. It'll be here when the time's right and it's gonna be epic, five stars. Good speech. It would be interesting if Rockstar was willing to give me a hand to find these people, but I suppose uh, if indeed the police are on the trail that you know, might lead to something, might not. So she situation, Ned Luke seemed to be taking uh, the right attitude towards it. I hope he can still manage to play GT Online in public lobbies to some degree as his streams gain more uh, notice. I uh, guess we shall see. Dexerto tweeted out, XQC believes he receives more backlash than Pokimane for controversies. And then he rambles as he does, but Ned Luke, speaking the mind of everyone, ratios Dexerto and says, who the fuck cares? I love this interaction. It might be my favorite ratio on this goddamn platform. That's why I screen captain and said, Ned Luke is truly a man of the people. He's doing good on this social media right now. Like if I ever get the chance, I'd like to ask him why the change? Like GTA released, you know, 2013. And I'm sure he's always been on Twitter, I suspect, but uh, only very recently has he seemed to be blowing up everywhere, doing more media stuff and, uh, and, and getting, getting really into the social media, which he seems very good at. It's a good on him.
Do you guys really want me to uh, watch this clip of Ned Luke dissing me? It's a minute. It's about me, so it's totally fine in regards to my ideas of reaction content. Yes? Hey Ned, you should do a collab with Dark Viper AU. It would be awesome. Who the fuck is Dark Viper AU? <laughs> um, yeah, I would do a collab with him, you know. So he probably just wanted to fucking debate me or some shit like that about witness protection. Like he thinks he knows something. He knows nothing about witness protection. He's making assumptions, man. Yeah. The United States, you, nobody has to be convicted of anything in He's order right. to go into witness protection. Yeah. You don't have to be convicted Jackass. of anything. All right? They'll put you into witness protection just to protect you. Mm. That's why it's called witness protection. He's right. Jesus, Fuck. man. Got some Australian guy trying to tell us how shit works in the United States. <laughs> Come on, Dark Viper AU. Let's go. <laughs> Actually, I don't know that guy at all, but he's he's pretty cool. I've watched a couple of his streams. I like that dude. He said you really should put a real shirt on. He, <laughs> he doesn't have the he doesn't have the guns, right? He doesn't have the guns to be wearing a tank top the entire time he does something. I know it's a signature right. thing, but you know it's okay to change. I mean, you got 85 million viewers or however many you got. They don't care if you take off your uh, if you take off your 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 you know tank top. I like how tuned in Ned Luke is <laughs> with everything. It's funny how he's wearing a black shirt. It's something that I should be wearing too. As far as him saying people don't need to be convicted of something to go into witness protection, he's absolutely correct. My statement there, because I was just free flowing, right? It wasn't a scripted video. When I said witness protection for what? No one was convicted of anything. I was going on to say that there is no reason for him to be in witness protection, given how the story went. But there's not a gap between those statements. As in, it's one statement, no one was convicted of anything. So there's no like formalized process necessarily for him to be put away. But then I go on to say that anyone that he might be protected from, he has no reason to be protected from. The deal was set up beforehand so that Trevor would die and Brad would go to jail. There's not really anyone that he would need to be protected from if it was just a deal with the FIB as a whole. But the reason why Michael's deal with Dave isn't a witness protection deal is because one of the main aspects of the deal is to protect him from the justice system. The purpose of witness protection is to enable people to come forward and help justice, to give give evidence so justice can be done and to protect people so they're able to do that. While Michael's deal explicitly exists to protect him from being punished for his crimes. Ned is absolutely right that a person could go into witness protection even if there wasn't a conviction done it just, that's not what happened in this case. We obviously assume that Ned Luke was joking about the witness protection thing, but do you think he actually knows the story of GTA 5 the way you know it? Um, I'm, I'm not sure to what degree he thinks Michael's in witness protection or not. I, I don't think he cares. Like, he's just having fun and so am I. Do I think he knows the story like the way I know it? Are you asking because he's a voice actor in the game? In the same way that actors in a movie can do an entire movie without understanding the story at all, because they may only largely know their scenes, significant parts of the story or that explain context of the story don't involve Michael at all. And the idea that like 10 years on, no, even more than that really, uh, Ned's gonna remember every single line he said in the booth <laughs> is, is insane. Um, or necessarily at the time, making all the connections between all those little bits of information to know every nitty gritty aspect of the story. Like, as I say, I speed ran the game for like 5,000 hours. And at, even at that point, I still missed key aspects of the story. Right? I mean, there are lines that he likely recorded, well, actually, that I know he recorded, that never made it into the game and could arguably not be considered canon. I realized I didn't talk about the rest of what he said in the clip. Uh, as far as me wearing a shirt, I would honestly like to wear a shirt. I've actually tried to move into wearing shirts, but I have to wear very, very dark shirts because, in part because it's Australia, uh, I sweat quite a bit while streaming. I get worked up while playing a game or something, and you can see me sweating if I lift up my arms. It just looks unsightly. I honestly do think I look better in a shirt. As a matter of fact, when I first started streaming, I wore a shirt and a jacket at all times. But tank tops just have a functional purpose for me, even though I agree with Ned Luke's assessment that I do think I should wear a shirt. As far as us potentially doing a collab, I did DM him about potentially playing GTA Guesser, even though I didn't think it was an amazing idea. It's just the thing that I normally do for collabs. And he was like, yeah, I want a collab, but I, I don't think GTA Guesser is the best way to do that. And I agree with his assessment. So I said, look, I'll talk to my people and uh, you know people in Discord and stuff, and I'll try to think of some ideas. And it's been uh, a while, and I still have not got back to him. Actually, let me see how many days it's been. Oh my god, it's been over a week. I had no idea it had been that long. I, I am being clearly very rude. But I don't have any amazing ideas as to what we could collab and do. I'm not a guy with a lot of collab ideas to begin with. And obviously, I've been playing the game for like over 10,000 hours. 
And so, no offense to him, but the skill difference is so extreme that a lot of the normal things that you might collab with another GTA creator on, we can't really do, I don't think. And I don't think he's interested in just being interviewed again because he's been interviewed like a million times. Uh, so I, I, I've just been so busy um, and, and so just put off responding. If you guys have some idea for us to collab on, something we could do together, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. I hope he doesn't consider me to be a, a rude asshole or something. Um, and, and I realized really looking back at that footage, I took too seriously him talking about witness protection, like I had to talk about it even more, even though I've talked about it a million times. I don't know why I did that. Um, you know, he's a chill dude. I'm generally a chill dude. I don't know why I came off so serious in that clip. Regardless, I hope you're all doing great. So yeah, go check out his streams and his YouTube channel, so long as you aren't going to fuck with him, obviously. Stop! Now that I have your attention, hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you. I wish you all the best.